are going into the parks. We're gonna go Halloween shopping. There is so much merch that I want. I think we're gonna do Animal Kingdom. Then we're going to do Hollywood Studios and Epcot for dinner. There's gonna be a lot of Disneying today. I don't know what the Disney worlds hold for us, but you're gonna be along for the ride. And usually what we do is we go where the wind takes us. That's how you do Disney properly. You don't stress, you have good food, good drinks, and you enjoy yourself. Sometimes it doesn't always work out, but it, it usually does. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do Disney. Um, I have done Disney videos in the past where we cocktail it up and we do all the things. And I think that this will be probably very similar, but with spooky shopping. So it's gonna be epic. First, I'm gonna tie up my mop, my little ghost clip that I got at Marshall's. And I'm going to do my skincare. We're going strong with our glow up routine. You wanna go to Animal Kingdom, monsieur? Heck yeah. And I wanna go see, I really wanna go on those walking trails. I know that there's two different ones. Not even pretend to know what they are. I don't, I don't remember what the name of them is. Soap, oh, the soap. It's giving witchy garden smell. I kind of just do like, I do like a face mask and I let it sit. I saw a Venus fly trap. I've seen it for years at Michael's, but I just saw it. One of you sent it to me on Instagram and it's on sale and it's like five feet tall. If Andre hears me, he's gonna be like, you don't need more stuff, stop it. But I want him for Canada. He's so cute. Oh my, he's amazing. I am forever fascinated with Venus flytraps. And you guys were the ones that told me last year and the year pro prior probably, you need to watch Little Shop of Horrors. And then I did, and now I'm even more obsessed. It's like the greatest thing of my life. The tingles are happening. I kind of just let it dry and then it gets like tight. It's like Botox in a soap, like natural Botox soap. I'm doing spot treatment. I just posted on Instagram. I decided to just pick a random person and refund their order for skincare since I know that there's a lot of people that it's like a big decision for them. I'm like, just do it, it's gonna be great. And like this one girl, I just messaged her. I'm like, send me your order. I'm gonna refund you or I'm gonna PayPal you. I mean, I'm not refunding anything. I don't own the company. I just have a discount code with them, but I want everybody to experience this. And I'll pop up my transformation so, like my own transformation. I mean, a bunch of you guys are texting me, like one of you messaged me yesterday and you're like, it's been five days only that I've been using this and my hormonal acne that I've had for years that I've tried everything I can't get rid of is gone. It's completely gone. And she's like, you, this changed my life. I'm like, that's what makes me happy. This is the one that tingles the most and I love it. And you, I can literally, so I did a little bit more research and I think it's this one that does it, but when you start using this, your skin will actually like purge in the areas where it's the most damaged. So for me, that's happened like here and it's almost done. And then a little bit here. And basically it's almost like it's like some are forming pimples and then it's like gone or it like hardens and then it like falls off. And I think it's like the sunspot that's like cured. I had really bad sun damage and it's already getting way better. Step three. So this is my four step skincare for the glow up challenge. The Globe Challenge is totally free. You just have to get your stuff, which you don't have to use what I'm using. I'm just sharing what's working for me. Step one is a cleanser, like a soap. And this one just so happens to like be spooky, like in a little, you guys were saying it looks like a sorcerer's stone. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and it lasts forever. It smells so freaking good. And then spot treatment, which is tingling right now and I love it. And then I let that dry and then I do my serum. And my melasma on my upper lip is like almost gone. And then I kind of just rub this in. Oh, I'm hungry. I think we're either gonna do Satouli Canteen or Andre loves Flame Tree Barbecue. Top of the hands, get the sun damage, and then this thing. Many of you have been influenced into buying this, which I did not steer you wrong. It's incredible. I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit first. It vibrates, there's a red light. The stone heats up, it's everything. Like what more could you need? And I always put it to the highest level. Oh, and I wash this every night and I've been using it on my thighs. I think I bruised myself a couple times, but it's good. We're getting the circulation going. No more cellulite, it's good. Me, as I'm sitting here talking to you, the battery just died on this thing. Or not the battery, but the, um, the chart. It needs to be charged. So we're just gonna do it regular. This is what I do, I kind of like go along the side of my face. And once you're used to it, like you can't live without it. It's like the best, and I go along my jawline. And I think that's why in the before and after pictures, my face looks more tight. I think this hydration and that purple pre-workout that I've been drinking, because it de-bloats you, we're all about the drainage. Love it, 
Well, I'm definitely gonna need to charge this. That between the most disappointing things that can happen to you during your glow up, go. Ice roller not in the freezer. Not charged the heated gua sha. God forbid you break a bottle. That's almost happened to me a couple of times. I like like dropping liquid gold. Okay, cream, because we need to make sure that we have sun protection. So there's SPF 50 in here. I don't do well, I've shown this before, I do not do well with sunscreen. It makes me break out, my eyes burn, it's just not a thing. And I would rather a natural SPF, and I love that this is 50. And I feel like since I've been in Florida and using this, my face has definitely been protected. And I love that there's like a glow to it. It's kind of like those elephant drops, like it gives you a bronzed glow but natural. And then I don't use um, makeup. I don't do foundation or concealer anymore because I want this stuff to do its job, but I also just want to not cover my face. This is the OG. She's, she's it. I swear it. They only have four products. If they drop anything new, I'm like, done. I trust you. And I love that they only have four products. Like they, they killed it at four things. The red, by the way, is from the Gua Sha. And then what I do is I make sure to finish at least 40 ounces. Is this 40? I didn't never even looked at this. I have no idea, but I finish a lot of water in the morning. So part of the glow up is to drink 80 ounces of water a day. So two Stanleys or four of the 20 ounce, um, not so scary cuppies. And then I do lash serum. This is not on the list, but I always do a lip mask. The hair serum isn't like oily or greasy or anything either. And then I just kind of work it into the sides. In between this and the collagen, woo. Oh, it smells good. Mm. And then we're gonna go get dressed and I might put some mascara on. It's about to get real. We just cleaned this room up. I need a spooky backpack. So I usually start with a backpack decision and ears and then I figure out what I'm wearing from there. But we're definitely going spooky. Do we want ghost, boogie boogie, bat? Okay, Andre, I'm gonna tell you a selection and you just randomly tell me, okay? Pumpkin, bat, boogie boogie, ghost. Good choice. Have I even ever worn this? I don't think I've ever worn this. She's new. And glows in the dark. All right, now we need a dress and we need ears. Ears. Which is? Well, this feels very appropriate. This is what we're going with. Got shorts underneath. This is the Buff Bunny one. It's like mesh, so it's super lightweight. I like these better than the Halara ones. Just saying, better quality. And I get a discount code so I can use my own code. Angie B. I don't know if they still have the dresses. I hope so. I think they have a couple of them with the slippers. We're not wearing the slippers to the park, let's be honest, but I do love them. These are so some little shoes. And then we're gonna do our face. I also have to clean up in there. No room, that's part of the glow up. Tidy up all day long. Spooky shopping day. Disney spooky shopping day. It's gonna be great. I don't know if I wanna wear, I don't, I don't feel like this, cause this is more like, no, it's not gonna work. I love these ears. Sanderson. We need spooky jewelry and a magic band. <gasps> Halloween magic band. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do bracelet at dinner. I just, it's gonna be hot and I don't wanna like have like that. Ready? They ready? Let's do this. Animal Kingdom. How sick is this? I hope it works. Now I'm ready. I'm excited. Let's go eat and see some monkeys. Can you take your picture? Always take a picture of where you park.
such a good midday break. So we did Satuli Canteen, which is such a good hidden gem in Animal Kingdom. You don't have to wait or anything. You just, you can either do a mobile order and walk right up and get your order. It's kind of like Asian fusion bowls, but we don't get that. We get the bao bun, the cheeseburger bao bun, and the hot dog wrapped in like a puff pastry. It's life. It's so good. And it's air conditioned in there. So necessary. That park is definitely hotter than all the other parks. I'm still wet from the ride that we went on. So we tried to do like underdog stuff. Listen, there was a bit of a wait and the parks were not that busy actually. I think it was like a 45 minute wait for Flight of Passage. And then when we walked up to it, it was 70 and we we're like, no, we draw the line at 45. So we decided to do all the underdog stuff. So we walked both trails. So there's the Gorilla Falls Trail, sick. And then in Asia, we did Cali River Rapids, Rapids because it's hot as Hades outside. And it is the only time of year that you can do it. No problem. You get soaked on that ride, but it felt so good. And then after that, we did the trails in Asia, which is just at the exit where the bats are. So I figured to add some spooky vibes. We checked out all the Halloween merchandise, which we're probably gonna actually purchase tonight when we go shopping. So we're probably gonna head to Hollywood Studios at like five-ish. I wanna wash off Animal Kingdom in the pool. I am like sweaty and like just, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm still wet from the ride. I need to hydrate my life. I had a margarita, maybe two. The margaritas in Animal Kingdom just hit different. It was so good. So I'm going to grab a bathing suit, probably read my spooky book outside. studios I spent some time by the pool so good this author if you haven't read the housemaid you need to it's so good and that's how I fell in love with her absolutely amazing totally enjoyed my little rest time Audrey came and joined me we had some popcorn I hydrated my life cheers I think I was drinking out of the hot girl cuppy this is what I'm thinking this is what we're going for I asked Andre if my dress was too much, but here's my plan. Since it's Hollywood Studios, I don't know why, why does Oogie Boogie equal Hollywood Studios, but in my head it does. Maybe because of California Adventure, I don't know. So I'm gonna do, <laughs> no, not with the ghost. No, my bad. <laughs> this with, it would be cute with the ghost, but this sweater, since the restaurant's at night, I mean, during the day they're cold too, but we're not gonna risk it. So we're gonna transition our stuff. Oh my gosh, the inside of this bag is adorable. It's all worms. This is one of my favorite backpacks. And then I have the little, we're gonna go shopping tonight. Right, babe? I know. You, <laughs> with our equally loving of Halloween friends. I feel like Andre's friend loves Halloween as much as I do. We cute. Oh my gosh, it's like a, it's an 80s baby thing to do that. Fight the urge. Okay, so sweater in first. I'm so excited to try this new restaurant at Epcot. 
It's gonna be so good. Animal Kingdom was awesome. Wasn't that such a good day, babe? It was fun, yeah. I need like 20 more of these, especially because I film so much. So yeah, I will gift these to one of you guys. And I also have the Jack Skellington ones that I shared and then two backpacks. So I will package these up. I'll put like one ear with one backpack and one ear with another backpack. They're kind of Halloween-y. They're like black and gold. I love these ones. These are by Hannah Marie. Hannah Marie Magic, I believe, is her Instagram tag. I just love the lace ears. They're so pretty. Perfume so that I don't smell. I did not do a workout today, but the steps are gonna be... Hey babe, don't you think the steps will be solid since we did like both trails? lipstick. Alrighty, ready! Hollywood Studios for like a cockatillo and shoppings and then Epcot. It's gonna be great. out of the truck because we forgot it there last night because we had so much freaking fun. We went to the new sushi. There's a storm. It's giving spooky. It's giving like haunted mansion. We're gonna decorate today. It's gonna be great. But first I need to show you all of this. Okay, so we did a full Disney day yesterday. We literally had the best day. We did Animal Kingdom, all the underdog stuff, had a great lunch and then went to Hollywood Studios, met with friends. I didn't film like a ton in Hollywood Studios because we were our friends, but we went to Tap House. That's a great under the radar type of spot. There's always room there. You can get like a charcuterie board. They have a full bar, but their beer, I don't drink beer, but their beer is apparently really, really good. Awesome spot. So we did that. Then we went to the Tower of Terror gift shop, which is where I got all, they have so much Halloween stuff there always. And as you can see, and then we made our way to Epcot. We watched the fireworks from dinner. It was magical, but this place, it's like an izakaya style. We got, I think it's Kobe beef or would it be Wagyu? Either way, delicious, but we got it like tataki style. I don't wanna say any wrong words, but it was so good. And we did sushi rolls and it's where the old sushi, like the original sushi restaurant was where the, the tapanyaki places, if that's what it's called, in the Japanese pavilion Epcot. So good. Okay, let me move this stuff. I'm just finishing up. Oh, and look what just came in. This is perfect. We are going into spooky mode. So I've had my eye on these things forever. By the way, I figured this shirt was appropriate for today. It's the crew, the spooky crew, going down Main Street, USA. Oh, love this. Okay, so I think, oh! Did not know that that happened. Okay, this is way better than I thought it was. I knew it was good, but I didn't know it was this good. So I think we're gonna go to Disney Springs tonight and I'm gonna get the table runner that I saw. Look at how sick this is. It like, 
Oh my gosh, that's way better than I thought it was. So like I said, I've wanted this collection since I saw it like early last year. And I was like, why didn't they just launch this at Halloween? So I got all the same, like from the, pretty much everything from the collection, except for the table runner. I didn't get the shot glasses because I'm not a shot glass type of person. I also like, what do you display in a shot glass? Not to, I mean, if you want the shot glass, get the shot glass. I'm just telling you what I got. And I don't think I got the bottle opener, but I definitely wanted these bar glasses. There's no way that these are dishwasher safe. Love this. So cool. Okay, and this matches the lanterns. Silly symphonies, the skeleton dance. My level of excitement yesterday when purchasing this, I feel like the poor girl at the gift shop that was working probably thought I was insane. Like she was just looking at me like, I, don't, I have no idea, what I, I don't really remember. I, it was a blur, I was so excited. Oh, and skeletons all around. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a whole situation. Babe, if we go to Springs tonight, where would you eat? Haleos? He said yes. I love Haleos. That's another underdog. This is like an underdog themed video. It's always the things that like aren't busy that you can get in no problem. You can go sit at the bar. It's Friday night. You can go sit at the, at the bar at Haleos and get in no problem. This is amazing. So it's like a copper color. So this is not everything. It has like a smoky finish to it. When I tell you that I have wanted this forever, there is no exaggerating. And then this is the ice bucket. Oh, there's more. I didn't remember that I got this, but I did want it. Oh my gosh, I got so much. I got like this, um, what do you call this? Hourglass. I called called it a time machine last night. I just thought this was so cool. You'll see, we're gonna light some candles around that area. I don't have a bar cart here, but I do have a banquette, which is kind of the same thing. How cool is this? With the black sand, yeah, love that. And then this is the ice bucket. So my game plan when I saw this last year, I figured it would eventually go on sale. It didn't. They just brought it back for Halloween and I didn't want to wait around. I'm sure one day it will go on sale though. It's glass, so it's very nice. And it has like a black kind of iridescent finish to it. And then I'm pretty sure there's pools inside. Yeah, this is beautiful. This whole set, I love this. Can be like a really cool, yep. I'm gonna show you what, I'm gonna, what else I'm gonna put. I mean, we're gonna decorate together, but something like this, it's like the Skull Vodka with the Oh Snap napkins and make it a full, this is coming together just smittenly and then maybe with like um some fake like wax candles this is gonna be a full vibe thank you so much for being a part of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i really wanted to give you like a full disney day but not just you know what everybody does i really wanted to be able to provide some value of like if the parks are really stacked which they weren't yesterday but just what you can do and just enjoy the atmosphere by walking around and just seeing disney for what we love it for and that's like good food good drinks and just the atmosphere and the the walking trails are one of my favorite things to do in animal kingdom although it does get hot especially in the summer, but it is so relaxing and peaceful to just take your time and enjoy things other than ride, 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 and just enjoy the food and walk around with a margarita. The margaritas at Pandora are amazing. Um, and we had such a good time shopping. So thank you for coming along with us. And I will decorate and take you with me throughout the entire journey. But for right now, I'm going to have to say that I'll see you tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. Give this video a thumbs up if you love the Disney-ness. And like I said, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye dudes.